Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here on this last day of June with your word for the day. Hey, let me just remind you this coming weekend, uh, we're, it's 4th of July on Sunday. We're going to be having our patriotic celebration service, uh, tribute, whatever you want to call it, at the 8 o'clock service on Sunday, July 4th. The rest of the weekend schedule is going to be normal, 5 o'clock Saturday, 9.30 and 11 on Sunday. But if you want that special patriotic celebration piece, you got to come at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. Uh, now, we're in Genesis 27 today, and I'm going to really encourage you to, to read this. In fact, I hope every day you're reading the passages that we can't read to you because I'm not going to read 40 verses. I'm just going to tell you the story, refer to the story. Uh, but this is the story where Isaac blesses Jacob. So let me ask you this question. Do you want to be blessed more or do you want to be blessed less? I've never met anyone who didn't want more blessings in their life. And, and look, I, I feel that way about myself. I want to be blessed more, and I know that I'm already incredibly blessed by God, way beyond what I deserve. But I love his blessings, and I'll take more of them every single day. So today's story is about deception and blessing, because it's a story about Isaac and Jacob. So Isaac is old, and he wants to bless his oldest son, Esau, because Esau was born first. And he's the older twin, and so that's what he wants to do. He wants to bless Esau, so he sends him out to get uh, some food for him and go hunting. And, and when he goes out, then Jacob and Rebekah, his mom, plot for Jacob to get the blessing. They deceive Isaac, and Isaac gives his blessing to Jacob rather than to Esau, which was God's plan. But uh, Jacob used deception to get that blessing. And by the way, you reap what you sow, and Jacob will get that, but that's another story another day. Uh, so let's talk about blessings just for a moment. We all want to be blessed, and we've all been given the power to bless others. Stop and think about that. You want more blessings, but are you giving those blessings that you have? Because God's given you that power to bless. Every time you open your mouth, you have the ability to bless or to curse every single word you speak. And, and right now, you can probably take a moment and remember some of those blessings and curses that were spoken to you as a child. I know I can. I know there were some people who, who spoke blessings into my life, and, and they resonate still to this day 50 years later. There are also some people... People I loved who spoke curses into my life, they didn't even mean for them to be curses, but they became curses for me. And, and I still fight those voices in my head that are accusing me. So every word we speak is powerful. And, and I want to encourage you to be a blessing to people. Proverbs chapter 12 says, Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. I want you to heal with your words, not to cut people. Uh, Proverbs 11 says, whoever brings blessings will be enriched. Isn't that a cool promise? If you bring blessings to others, then you're going to get that back because we reap what we sow. And, and that means blessings are going to come to you. So today, can I challenge you today and every day to let your words be kind? Let your words be encouraging. Let them be hopeful and helpful in every situation which means you'll have to think about your words before you go off in anger at the waitress or the clerk. It means that even on the phone with those, you know, when you're waiting forever to talk to a customer service aide, that you're praying for that person on the other end you're going to be talking to rather than getting ready to just unleash on them with a tirade uh, because that's what everybody does. It, it means that when your kids come in and disappoint you, frustrate you, or your spouse comes in, that you're not just going to blast them with both barrels, but instead you're going to think about what you say and you're going to choose to bless because reckless words really do pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Let's bless and let's heal in Jesus' name. Have a great day, Calvary, and I pray that God would bless you.